What is up everybody? Thank you and this is the start of a new series for me. I'm going to be watching a movie and I'm going to record myself as I watch it or if something good comes on I'm going to pause it, show it. Sorry that's the uh, my the video for my daughter. She's sleeping right now and she's asleep but that thing keeps popping up. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to watch uh, The Muppets Treasure Island. I've seen a few Muppets movie love the Muppets, but this is one of the few movies of the Muppets I have not seen. I am excited for it. Like I said, I'm going to be reacting to it as I go through the movie. Um, I'm going to stop it at funny parts, at good parts. I'm going to stop it, kind of talk through those as well. And then at the end, I'm going to give my review. So make sure to stay till the end for the review. He died? And this is supposed to be a kid's movie. I always love the Muppets because they break the fourth wall. It's like a kid's Deadpool almost, but in this one, the kid... Gonzo and the rat Rizzo are together. So they're, of course, they're finding a map and they just sang a song about there's more out there for them than this. That is very convenient, don't you say? But setting up the plot when he's watching it with me. The Muppet humor is just great. It makes you thinking about they're going to say something, and they say something completely different. Beware of scissors and pointy things. And then they're like, oh, he's dead. Beaker may be my favorite Muppet. I feel like something funny is about to happen because he's in it. Just kidding, nothing funny happened. That was kind of disappointing. Waste of beaker right there. I like these two beak guys too, they're always funny. Hey, it's Tim Curry. Did not know he was in this movie. That was a rude way for someone missing a leg to act like they're scared of him. It's just a leg. Alright, the captain's coming. Before he gets there, I'm going to guess who it is. And I feel like since it's a Muppet movie, it's going to be Kermit the Frog, right? The, the captain's got to be Kermit. Who is this guy and where is Kermit? Oh. Hello, everyone. Wow. That's the raging volcano. It's a frog. Maybe he gets. Love how they're on a pirate ship and there's just rats on a cruise also on the pirate ship, and all the pirates are just like. Yeah, this is normal. This is how usually ships go, and it's just it's just happening. They have abandoned everything. That is hilarious. You literally just told the bad guy you had a treasure map. Come on, Hawkins. Come on, man. Don't do it, Jim. Jim, you can't get that done. Can't be that dumb, Jim. Come on. Miss Piggy has made her appearance. I love how the rats are still just like in vacation mode this whole time. Alright, I'm in like the final scene. <clears throat> I'm really hoping that these rats that are like on the cruise with them just come out and help them. I don't know why, but I feel like I really want to see that right now. Uh-oh. Oh, he's a good guy. Haha, <laughs> there they are. 
just chilling and watching. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh. And that is the end of The Muppets. Great movie, but let's go ahead and talk about it. Just ended, and these are just kind of my first reactions, thoughts about the movie. First of all, if you notice me changing clothes in the middle of it, it's because I took a nap, came back and watched it later tonight. And overall, I'd give this movie probably a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite Muppets movie, but it's still a fun watch. There's not much to the story. Um, the kid gets a map from his father um, to find a treasure. He gets a crew. Um, half the crew's bad, half the crew's good. It never really is secretive about who's bad or good, or at least if it was trying to be, was not very good at it. Um, but the characters are good. I thought Tim Curry was an absolute great person to play Long John Silver um, in that role. I thought he did great with it. I think, too, with this movie, since I have saw Treasure playing it a lot as a kid, it's just kind of the same story, but it's in Muppet form, which I love seeing all these different stories in Muppet form. Um, but yeah, I'd give this movie... Let's say a 7 out of 10. Give it a 7 out of 10. I didn't really enjoy the songs too much. They're okay, but it's not any that I would go and listen to outside of um, outside of the movie. If it's something I would watch again, maybe like when my when my, uh, when my kid gets a little older, I think she might enjoy it, but I'm not really sure. The Muppets aren't as big as they used to be. But if you'd like me to do this for any other movies, please let me know down in the comments what movie you would like me to just watch and react to. And yeah, that's it. Peace.